The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt was released in 2015 and has won over 200 awards for its masterpiece and has received a ton of praise from fans and critics. The Witcher 3 is a gigantic and detailed open world role playing game with a fantastic story and a beautiful map filled with unique monsters and interesting characters. The Witcher easily gives you 100 hours worth of gameplay and if you look for it you could spend 200 hours playing through the Wild Hunts and that's not including either of the two massive DLCs. I've accumulated nearly 30 days of gameplay with multiple playthroughs of the Wild Hunt over the years so in this video I'm going to let you guys know if the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is still worth getting over 5 years after its original release. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future content. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt isn't that good of a game. First of all, bollocks. I'm joking of course, The Witcher is a great game. One of the best things about The Wild Hunt is its vast, vibrant and colourful open world. It's difficult to explain just how big the map is, words and videos do it no justice. It has such a varied range of locations ranging from snowy mountains to gas filled bogs and silent water to large cities and I was surprised how incredible it all looked. The amazing and detailed open world did a great job at completely distracting me from my current objective by giving me so many opportunities to explore and discover exciting new things. I could be on my way to start a quest, but that never stopped me from destroying dangerous monsters nests, killing a group of bandits camping in the woods, or defeating a vicious monster to get to the guarded treasure. These are just a few examples of the many things you can do around the world. Horse races, fist fights, monster contracts and treasure hunts are also available. One of the best pieces of side content is the addicting card game Gwent. I found myself playing against merchants as well as important characters in an effort to make my deck bigger and stronger and I could do this for hours. The gorgeous map is also filled with entertaining side quests which have brilliant and in-depth stories behind them which gave me a reason to actually complete them. Fantastic voice acting and characters also added to the entertainment of the side content. Some side quests are much longer than others and take more time to complete. These usually offer even more in-depth stories behind them and you will find the choices you make during some of these side quests as well as the main story will legitimately change how the story of the Witcher will unravel. Even after an unreal amount of hours playing through the Wild Hunt during various playthroughs I'm still finding different outcomes and new characters. The Witcher's story genuinely changes as you play through the game which makes it even more enjoyable. I've spent days playing the Wild Hunt without even touching the main quests and spent my time exploring the amazing map and doing side quests instead, which shows how much fun there is to have outside of the main story. The Witcher 3 has a moving story that likes to pull on our heartstrings throughout. You play as Geralt of Rivia who is trying to track down Ciri who is his adopted daughter as she is being chased by the Wild Hunt. As you progress through the game we can clearly see how much Geralt and other characters care for Ciri which makes me care about her and makes me want to find her and discover what's been going on. The story can be difficult to follow and I'll be the first to admit I did use Google during my first playthrough to understand what was going on, but it's a fantastic story nonetheless. Make sure you complete side activities as you progress through the game, especially on the harder difficulties as this rewards you with XP to level up your character. It will be a real challenge playing on the hardest difficulty if you haven't leveled up enough. The Witcher 3 has a fun and addictive skill tree. Once you figure out how to use it properly, you will learn some really useful things that will help you during combat. This is another great thing about the game. 
The fighting is fantastic and the AI is clever and they don't just stand there waiting to be attacked. A very effective parry and dodge system makes the combat some of the best I've seen in the game. Geralt also has the use of signs that affect all monster types differently. With the help of a bestiary, which is a book you'll find on the main menu when in game, you will learn weaknesses of monsters and you'll know which signs to use, which bombs to throw and which oil to apply to your blade. As you progress through the game you will come across a ton of loot such as weapons and armour and you are free to customise Geralt with any gear you find provided he's the right level. You can also create weapons and armour as long as you have the right materials and the diagram for each item. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt has a humongous and beautifully detailed map that is filled with unique content that will keep you entertained even hours after completing the epic story. The fantasy world is full of interesting characters which kept me hooked in and outside of the story. Along with its excellent combat and skill tree, The Witcher 3 has reached a greatness not many other RPGs have. For this reason The Witcher 3 is definitely still worth your time and I'd say it's one of the greatest RPGs of all time.